Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of The Last Faith. The last time we left off, we had made it to a uh, new area. I'm not going to scroll over to it on the map because the map scrolls very slowly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we just need to go right back over here. And then, yeah, we got to go this way because everywhere else we explored last time. I also found something out while I was kind of standing around off screen. You can do charge attacks. Had I just forgotten about this, or is this something, like, specific to the whip? Like... No, apparently you can just do it with anything. I just... haven't been. I must have forgotten about it. Um, oh. I have enough for level up, but... Wasn't I, wasn't I, I think I was saving it, right? Because I would like that one weapon. Oh, no. Oh god, that did, like, no damage. Um... Okay. Uh... Uh-huh. Ow. Okay, I feel kind of okay... ...with this turn of events. Ow, ow, okay, that's kind of annoying, but... Uh-huh. I mean, two enemies at once, this isn't actually that bad. So far, at least. Okay. Ow. Okay. Yeah, like, it's really not so bad so far. That's big damage. Okay. Ooh, I burned them. That's nice. <laughs> there's... It feels like there's gonna be another phase to this, but... Yeah, they're really not too bad. They're like mid-bosses, basically. That fire damage is quite nice. God. Infection purged. I got a moon silver stone. That's nice. So I can upgrade my weapon if I want to now. Well, I was worried for like a second when I saw a boss fight spawning, but that <laughs> that really wasn't so bad at all. Also, my fire fist is uh quite good. I like that a lot. So cool cool. I like it, I like it. What you got for me? Healing injection, just just more of them. All right. If you if you say so. Yeah. So I might actually be able to afford to get the weapon that I want at this point. I God, I I really really love this thing. Mostly just because the range is phenomenal. But since if I'm not gonna lean super hard into decks, then I do wonder if it's even worth it. I mean, you don't need to actually scale super hard with a weapon in, in these games if you don't, you know, want to, but still. Let's see. Let's put that right there. Ow. Ow. Oh my... Ow. Oh. My crux has consumed you. So, I kind of got frozen for a second. <coughs> And then, um, when I finally, I think, got control of my character at the last second, I tried the heal, but I pressed, uh, LB instead of LT. God, getting my controls mixed up for all these different games I'm playing is absolutely going to be the death of me so many more times. That was the weird thing about that boss. It felt like they did too little damage. Like, that random enemy that just hit me did way more damage than that boss ever did. Am I just timing these jumps wrong, or are these, like... These electric puddles just more difficult to deal with? Yeah, god, all of a sudden everything here is just doing way more damage. God. 
It is the start of an episode, so I'm probably just playing not too great at the moment. Uh, where's my bullets? Uh, God. Oh, God. Stupid lungy attack, I swear. Need to be able to stagger. Ow. Oh, I don't want a nightmare. Oh god, oh god! I... <laughs> I shit you not, my controls got reversed. Is that what Nightmare does? Oh, that's awful. God. All of a sudden I'm just dying like crazy. Nightmare straight up reversed my controls. I was freaking out because I was like, wait, is there something wrong with my controller? No. Oh my god, it's it's the worst status effect in any video game ever. I... I hate having my controls reversed. It's so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot you. I... I don't care. I'm just shooting you. There. God, what a shit encounter. Just little lightning puddles, and then you got these jackasses that just vomit all over the area. Just give me that back. Holy shit, just quit for like two seconds. Jesus. Oh my god, nope, nope, we're dead. <laughs> because my controls are reversed. <laughs> Damn it! Oh my god, this room, this room sucks. This room really sucks. Ugh. I guess this was not the best game to play when I just woke up, but... My god. They... It definitely feels like... Uh, these enemies do slightly more damage. <laughs> Which I think is because I just beat the boss fight, so they upgraded the enemies for this area. Maybe they just always did this much damage, but... Why was the boss fight so piss-easy, but these are all of a sudden really difficult? <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm having a way harder time just with the random enemies. I guess it really just wants me to run across there. God. How about you cry in hell? Fuck off. Jesus. And then here we go. Okay, so don't get hit by that stupid shit. Whatever you do. And I can't just hang out up there because that happens. I'm gonna go over here and heal. <sighs> Fuck you. Oh, come on, I missed. No, 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 no. Okay, you didn't, you didn't reverse my controls. It's fine. As long as you don't do that, we're good. Oh my god. I swear I did not have this hard of a time with these enemies before, but I don't think they were ever paired together. Like, having two of those idiots and one of you at the same time. I think that was the holdup. God. Having to deal with dodging your projectiles while also having to deal with them... ...was just a lot. And it was the final room before the shortcut, so I guess it was intended to be a lot. But holy shit. Ugh. A boss fight is an absolute joke-ass pushover, but... ...then you put me in that room. <laughs> that was the true boss fight. That other shit, nah, that, that, that other room, no, that's, that wasn't a boss fight. This was the boss fight. There's no way past. Huh. Okay, it does have a lock. Okay. Whew. Magnetic bomb. Um, so, yeah, we got one of these. Mineral obtained from the looting of the ancient buildings of Mithringal and its surroundings. The production process of such stones has been lost. It has excellent malleability and resistance and is often used to reforge new weapons. Probably used quite a bit of my heals and stuff there, too. I just hate these enemies with that shotgun attack they have. 
It's the worst. Like, it doesn't hurt a ton, but... Since I don't have, like, a shield or something, I can't really block it, so I kind of just have to get out of the area. Which is a pain. Herman's office key. The carrier is granted entrance into the depths of the pursuit of ancient knowledge, locked away in the walls of the Inquisition. Puppets of the unquestionable power, led by Dr. R. Herman, plunged into the darkest depths in the name of the faith. Twisted experiments obscured from the light of day, but to what end? Yeah, I'll be glad when I don't have to deal with those enemies anymore. They're very, very annoying. The range of my whip is quite nice, but, uh... I will be interested in getting, uh... A different weapon that allows me to... Possibly stagger them easier? Because it feels like that's the problem. Is I'm not staggering them when I feel like I should. Hi. Stay away from me! Oh, okay. Please, no. Keep back. I can't. I have found it. Stay away. Please. Am I having another boss fight already? I have finally done what I sought out. I will not let you do this to me. I know your soul. One of a cursed man who destroyed the life I had. Yeah, that's a boss fight. Oh, that is not what I expected to happen there. I thought, I don't know, you would do something with the... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was a- oh wow, it had another one? I thought it was gonna be one. Jeez. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Big damage. Ow. That was a bad idea. Oh, come on! With your stupid jump. Ow. I was trying to roll there. Damn it. I should not have died to that. <laughs> I was trying to roll there and I failed. Okay, so that attack will too hit me, so I have to be careful. I would have hit them with my flame attack, but they they did their stupid little jumpy deck. Alright. That, yeah, that was not a fight I should have died to there. I was about to say you're, like, ridiculously easy, actually, but... Oh, with the backswing. Fuck you and your backswing. There. Okay, here's the annoying attack. And then we just gotta do this. There we go. That was all we needed. Okay. Nope. Hit it. Thank you. There we are. Okay, now switch to gun. Uh-huh. Yeah, you just move forward a little. Which is fine. Oh, with the backswing. Just watch out for that. I wonder if you have a second phase, because... Yeah, like I said, this feels a little easy. I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Yeah. Yep, as expected. Oh, not the not the shit on the ground. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is that? Okay, interesting. Not what I expected. Ow. 
Ow, not that. No. Okay. Okay, well, not what I expected. <laughs> you got a lot to get used to. Oh. Ow. Fuck. Give me a second. Just give me a second, please. Yeah, I don't get a lot of opportunities to hit you. This phase, though, I think I will. Yeah, that's a that's a bunch of big big chances to hit you there. Oh, not the baby damage. Okay. Uh huh. Heal. God, you do not get a bunch of big damage opportunities. This is the best one. Yeah. Come on. Ow. My attacks moved me forward. Ow. No, <laughs> god damn it. Good. Ow. There we go. Whoop. Okay, yes, this is what I want. This is what I want. Big damage opportunity. Why you bounce your stupid little stuff across the screen. Whew. Okay, we got it. Phew, yeah, the attack where you had the tendrils come from the top and bottom of the screen was rough, but that was really the only kill potential you had. Whew. All right. And that is enough for my weapon, should I so desire to go get it. <laughs> like, that's a lot of level ups, but... Blunderbuss weapon sounds pretty cool, yeah? Whew. I didn't use, like, my parry thing at all, but... Honestly, it feels like it'd be really, really hard to time. Oh, God. Alright, well, let's... Let's go see what I want to do with my Nycrux here. <sighs> yeah, I I fought the first phase of that, and I was like, there's no way this is, like, the entire boss fight. And as expected, that other boss fight was like a... Um... Like a mid-boss, basically. A mid-boss encounter, so... Uh... The question is, what do I actually want? Because I could get level ups. Now, I also have enough to buy the the wall jump things, right? Grants enhanced grip when climbing specific smooth surfaces. Enhanced grip when climbing specific smooth surfaces, like... I'm imagining that... I don't... Mm, I'm not totally sure what that means exactly. But... Like, the blunder blade, yes. D does it sound cool? Yes. But it also scales with dexterity D and insti in instinct D. If it was just instinct, or instinct and like, mind, I would be more crazy about it, I think. Because, <sighs> yeah, currently... I'm minus one on the stats required... Er, it, I'm minus one for the attack stat because... What, what are my... Wait, don't I have 12, uh, decks? Because didn't I need 12 decks for this weapon that I'm... Yeah, I do have 12 decks. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm missing the instinct. I only have, yeah. But yeah, I just, I, I find myself wondering, you know? Like, should I even, uh, bother going for it? Because it's quite expensive. Like, does it sound like a cool weapon? Yeah, but it's also expensive as shit, so... I'm kind of like, maybe I should just buy this instead. Of course, I don't even know if I need this yet. But... When will I need it is the question. Because I'm kind of fine with my, with my whip right now. 
And like, yeah, I like the... I like instinct. And I think having having my gun is just, like, good and using it and stuff. Hmm. But maybe we'll find a better weapon that I like more. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's the, that's the problem. I wish I could, like, almost try it out before I buy it. That would be kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm gonna pass up on it. I think I'll just get this instead. Whatever this does. So... Enhanced grip when climbing specific smooth surfaces. Don't totally know what that means yet. I'm imagining it's like some sort of wall climb scenario, but... The important thing is that, uh... I've got it, so I don't have to worry about that getting that later. And while the new weapon would have been cool... Spending that much on it seems kind of seems kind of wild. <laughs> um, I mean, I was kind of getting thrown around in there, but three HP per level up when my when my max HP is a hundred and thirty three, basically feels non-existent. So, I think I'll just go for Nycrux. Like. The HP doesn't feel like it's increasing that much, actually. Not enough to super, super help. Not that the damage does either, but... At least it makes, you know, my scaling and stuff a little bit better. Okay. Well, that was... Something. Does it, like... It says specific smooth... It's not like when you're climbing up there or anything. Ooh, I do wonder... Um... Yeah... Um... I was wondering if maybe now that I've defeated the boss, if this room up here... ...that was blocked by like... ...you know... ...corruption, it looked like? I was wondering if this would be open now? No, okay. Just wanted to be sure. I might need an item to, like, kind of open that. Alright, well, down we go. But yeah, I'm quite happy with, with my weapon for now. I would like something else. I probably need to look into actually upgrading this weapon, though. Just because it probably expects me, especially since I just got a drop of uh, the upgrade material from that boss. It probably expects me to have an upgraded weapon by now. I'm just kind of scared because I don't have one that, that I'm like, you know, think totally fits my build or anything at the moment. That's the main issue, I would say. Why? Hello. Healing injection. Hi there. Those are not familiar footsteps. Who are you? Eric. I've come to help. Where is Ladak? I do not recall any Ladak. He is the Lord of the Cathedral. He... Hmm. You are a defiant with a heavy heart. The Nightcrux is taking hold of you. I feel a force taking hold. My heart is weighted. My mind is clouded with no light to guide me. And now I have killed the one who was meant to grant me salvation. His blood on my hands. Oh, is that what we were actually coming? I. It, it, we probably had that explained earlier, but yeah, I hadn't realized that was actually what was happening here. I saw you freaking out and saying, no, don't kill me. Yeah. So we were specifically looking to get cured of this thing, but it seems like. Yeah, we're... We specifically killed the person that was going to... <laughs> that was going to heal us, possibly because we couldn't control ourselves, because you said your mind is clouded. Yeah. Hmm. Because, I mean, if from what I recall at the beginning when it was explained, we are just someone who has the ability to... to kill... to kill the current, like, leading god, because we are... a defiant as you just said, and we're against them, and we're fighting, 
We're fighting against them. We're one of the few people that can, so... Herman. A man seeking a cure for the mutations. Yeah. We're specifically mutated so that we can fight back, as far as I remember. Because there's one god and anybody who fights back against them is... You know, he has this issue and is put in like a jail cell and that's what we escaped from. But we've seen before that Eric like possibly kind of goes crazy a little bit sometimes. So maybe that happened even though we didn't see like a cutscene for it. I don't know. Alas, you must seek comfort from this. Herman was not the man many thought him to be. Why do you speak these words? Who are you? I am Annabella. I was trying to find a cure for the mutations, help Herman with his research, but he went mad. I couldn't carry it on alone, and then he imprisoned me. Okay, good. The mutation specifically, like, I imagine you're talking about curing me, but are you also talking about fixing, like, the cold ones and stuff? Herman was determined to weed as much as possible from me by force. These laboratories are more than meet the eye. The dead are sacred within these walls and attended to with more care than any living being. Under our feet are the chambers of the city dwellers who came before. Dwellers of influence and prestige. There are many palaces around the world. People trapped within. We must not stop until these people are free from the threat of the heinous. Free from the promises they proclaimed so long ago. Of what do you speak? They are ancient forces of evil, branded onto sacred objects, corrupting them. Many do not dare utter their name, as they corrupt the minds of many. Yet, I condemn such fear of a name. For I see many horrors more unspeakable than the sepulchre. You have my assurance of help, Annabella. Interesting. I'm a little bit confused about some of the storytelling going on here, because you said there are people from old civilizations trapped in palaces under here. Are you saying I need to go defeat them? Seems like it was just like, you're telling me basically there's multiple ancient powers that I need to beat up. Eric, the name of a troubled man who does not yet know his way, the Nightcrux will be your guide. It attracts them, you see. They will find you. That is a fate I am not eager to dwell on. Then you understand fear. That is courage in itself. You must leave this place. Find shelter at the manor. What about you? What will you do? I mean, obviously fight the people that are after me, so... Yeah, it seems like the fact that I am a Defiant, and that I specifically do... ...have the ability to, like, kind of channel Nycrux into myself, it seems like the powers that be don't like that, and are going to try and kill me and send everything they can at me, because I'm currently trying to... ...topple the status quo, it seems. Rid myself of this affliction. Find the Lord of the Cathedral of which you speak. It's the best hope I have. We could rid ourselves of the affliction, Eric, but we could also just kick ass. Lord Ladakh is not to be trusted. His spirit is cursed by the unspoken beings of the Junas Ministry. I will take care. Very well. But I hope to see you also at the manor. Soon. Gravitational ring. I have found what only whispers have spoken of. Shul's granted me leverage over gravity, a way to the path towards em emancipation. And I feel something. Rage, hatred, hunger, a shadow. Aha! Now I can push and pull the blocks. Why to grab onto special boxes when close and then drag or push them with... yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, and that's who... Yeah, you're the one I heard talking from in there. Let's leave this... What about... Rid... Lord... Lo I will... T Very well. Okay. So... Unfortunately, I don't... I didn't have a way to specify... Um... What kind of thing it was. I kind of wish I had now that I had specified... Or figure out a way to specify this is a box, but... Whatever. We got it now. So I can focus on clearing some stuff out. Finally, we've hit that first point where I can go around and clear things out on the map. 
Anonymous note. There is one who saw the two unseen oracles forcibly torn from them. They were bestowed to this world as a bestowed to this world as a gift. Their affinity with nameless and mystic entities a unique and blessed endowment. There are few who can wield the same kinship with the obscurities of their unknown kin. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's it's a little bit difficult for me to grasp what's currently going on in the story, but it could also just be that I'm misinterpreting things or not paying enough attention, but um there's a lot going on. Demi-shade ore. Yeah, I got the ability to move heavy objects. An extremely rare mineral found in correspondence with the main temples. It was collected and kept as an object of worship and a sign of the ancient divinities. In recent times, it has been plundered and used to build unique weapons. Ah. Is that my twinkling titanite? Possibly. My special upgrade material? I think so. I believe that's what it's going for, at least. Okay, so... I should be heading down here. I do need to end this episode off, but it would be cool to find a different checkpoint. Possibly. I'm just glad we we have the we have the the Goron brace bracelet? Is that what it is? Oh, I thought this was gonna be progress, but no. This is just another moon silver stone. Okay, so we have two of those now. Okay, well I'm glad I checked that. Um, I'm definitely gonna hit this wall back here. No? Okay. Yeah, so... Should be good there, then. This room annoys me, because it looks like I don't have- Like, I can't see the actual borders of the room, so it feels like I'm missing stuff in there, but... I don't know how I would be. But, it seems like we're basically done with this area, and next time I'm gonna have to do some, uh... Some big exploration. Yeah. Kind of find a new path forward now, but hey, finally have a new ability, so that's cool. Alright, well, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.